According to preliminary reports, Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki's Dawa party, along with several secular parties, appeared to lead the polls in the January 31st elections. Official results will not be published for weeks. Voter turnout in Iraq's provincial elections was the lowest in the nation's short history as a new democracy. Just over half of Iraq's 14 million registered voters went to the polls. The Iraqi government sealed borders, shut airports, banned vehicles, and deployed thousands of security forces for the elections. And at least five candidates were slain before the polls. Interviews suggest that the low voter turnout is an indication of Iraqi disenchantment with a democracy that so far has brought them very little. Many feel the people they elected were party to or were at least complicit in the violence in Iraq. Fallujah resident Yasir Bakir said, quote, Thousands of Iraqis were unable to vote because their names were inexplicably missing from voter lists, and tens of thousands of internally displaced Iraqis were also unable to cast their vote.